And so let's see. Um, so there's new blocks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a lot of new blocks. They even did it for the ores already. Oh, they even did it for the ores. Let's check out the new ores. Because I do know they changed the texture on them as well. Oh my goodness, look at that copper block. Actually, I think the copper block takes over emerald. Let's see. I don't have any resource packs running at the moment. Every block. Wait, they, they added every single block. You're joking. So so what's the other ones that they've added? Um, raw iron. So they added raw iron. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see, raw copper. Raw... So they, they've added a raw block for iron, not just the usual um, smooth variants. What? This is so cool. So now you have different textures that you can now use. That is going to trigger me. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we are. <laughs> okay, there we are. From now on, if you mine iron, you get raw iron instead of iron ore. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that, that they changed and stuff. Oh, this looks actually so cool. Imagine you're doing like a ruin build. You know, like a, a ruin build. Then this copper ore can be very nice because of the little green that it has in it. Oh, that's so nice. I feel like someone's going to make a texture pack that's just going to take this to the next level. Like, I can already, I can already feel that. Well, this is like actually, I actually like the yours. The yours actually, actually also look nice. Ah, uh, this is the copper, right? Yeah, that's the copper. That's so cool. I, I like that actually. That's kind of cool. I don't mean to break that, but it's fine. Okay, so then we have the. But yeah, I actually like this. This, this uh, was specifically uh, this block specific. I know it's very hard. I don't like the rule, but it's so interesting because it's a different kind of um, palette that you can maybe use. Like if you are doing a specific build like for some builders i feel like it's gonna help a lot oh this is a the dripstone uh, my texture is still actually running for the engine debris <laughs> i still have my texture pack it still works it makes my engine debris darker like a gray oh and the different forms of wait why, why does this even exist Oh, this actually kind of looks nice. Uh, the, the raw texture, I feel like someone's going to make a texture pack that's going to keep this, but change it just a little bit to make it look absolutely amazing and being able to use it more. The copper is this actually kind of cool, not going to lie. So what kind of stages do you have? You have the pure oxidized. That's kind of cool. That, that's going to work well with the, um, what's it called? Prismarine. Yeah, that's going to work nice with this. Like, if you build something and you use... Oh, that's going to be kind of nice to have this um, oxidized copper. Because if you mix that with the dark, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I saw there's two different um, copper variants. There's the uh, exposed and the... Uh, um, uh, oxidized but then there's one that says like yeah waxed yeah yeah that's so cool though like this is like just gonna be so many in wait that's actually so they have a stage and just before what has still a bit of brown in it oh the possibilities the possibilities with these blocks like this one you can kind of use in this palette but i feel like this one and this one are the two main ones that you're going to use if you want to use these if you let light lightning hit copper it will revert back to normal copper ah okay so they give a gave another function to the what you call it to the trident enchantment channeling so they gave another i guess thing for that to do or to work but oh that's so nice because if you use these two with this and um, actually maybe this as well that could be so nice you get the things that you can build now they really gave more color palette for the prismarine 
Like the prismary already was quite impressive, but now oh, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, let's see what else they added. So they added the normal deep slay. You also have a lightning rod. Oh yeah, you do. Ooh. And this thing attracts lightning if I'm not mistaken. Like it lightning will try and strike it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wish this could oxidize as well, maybe. That could have been nice. So then you could um, make this, like, have the different stages as well. So then you could also, like, blend it. But that's fine. I'm, I'm completely not... It's a redstone signal. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to think, though. What would you use that for, though? Oh, look. Look at those waxed. Is there a difference in color between waxed and not waxed? Yeah, because this is the wax. Okay, no, there's no difference. Actually, this one seems like it has darker lines. Or am I just cuckoo? Let's say, okay, so I'm just going cuckoo. Okay, so it's just my, my head messing with me. But look at the amount of blocks that you now have. Like, it's it's not just, it's just slabs. Oh. This is so cool. Like, just imagine you're going for a industrial area build and you use copper, like almost like a steampunk kind of vibe. Yeah, but if you wax it, it's quite aging. Yeah, so it's like a stopper, so you can age it to what you want. But imagine just the, the amount of different builds now that you can do thanks to this. That's all I'm thinking about now. It's just the the, the stuff that you can because you can like um, use the different blocks. So more exposed ones you can go darker, and the more orange ones you can be like, yeah, they're not as much exposed. So you'd rather use the. Oh, this is so exciting! I'm so excited to start using these things. Okay, then there's yeah, like the, I know they changed the basals. That that I do know because that was a big thing. Yeah, it's, it, so it's the exact same, it's just the block difference. Okay. Take a look at the amethyst. Amethyst block. Block of amethyst. Uh, budding. Oh, okay, the budding one I know. I know what that one is. That's the one that it um, grows from. So this is what the amethyst grow from. And this is the actual block. Actually, I actually like how it looks. I can I can see you can use this. I can see what you just use this for. That's kind of nice, actually. It's not something I would use per se in a build, unfortunately. But but I can see why people would enjoy this. Like I can, I can see the potential of a block. It just sucks that you can't move these. Like I've heard that you can't move these at all. So if you find a amethyst cluster like you have to pull the farm around it because you can't like move these things then there's they're stuck I, i'm actually so excited to see what people do with these um raw blocks because i feel like people are gonna be able to do amazing things with it and with the copper of course what else is new Ooh, the new bushes wait yeah, okay so i got those two Oh, uh, moss block, moss carpet. These two things look modded. Am I the only one getting that feeling? I like the copper. Yeah, the copper with the brown and the green. Bone meal the bushes. Okay, I'm gonna bone meal them. But um, am I the only one getting like a modded feel from these two? The small drip leaf and the big drip leaf. Am I the only ones getting a um? It's actually just get some more space <laughs> yeah work oh so you can't oh, okay you can place him but you can't why can't i place this one the small yeah it's weird it's the 3d texture that, that's what it is it's the 3d texture why can't i not place this does it have to be upside down no so you can't place the small drip leaf. what does this one You can stack them. 
Oh my goodness. I think the parkour people are going to be super happy. I'm horrible at parkour, by the way. Because it's like... I don't know how that works. Oh, uh, okay. Oh my goodness. It's like they, um... The parkour people are going to go mad for this, this plan. Specifically. Just thinking of the possibilities with this thing. I, I, it's just amazing. Like, it, it's a delayed block. Which is kind of cool. Let's see the moss carpet. It's actually kind of nice. I, I, I can actually see this. Because um, what, what I would do is, is just dig two down. Grab a torch. There we go. Slap salt torch. Right now. In place. I'm an idiot. It's one block higher there. Up on top of it. And that blends in quite nicely. Take bone meal and bone meal the moss. Bone meal. Oh, the moss block most probably. Oh! So the moss block infects. That's kind of cool. So the moss block infects, like, the surrounding area and stuff. That's so cool. And I actually love the texture. It's actually very nice. Oh, it is so, it's this how you get the moss carpet. That's kind of cool. Wait. Oh, that, okay, that, that, that's not. Because, oh, that's actually so nice. Because imagine now you have, like, you're doing, like, a nature, you know, build and stuff. Now you have a different green that you can, like, implement into the area. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. And then you just bone meal it to make it expand and hey, it even spawns little bushes. But we'll check out now. It can infect almost every Yeah, that's kind of cool actually. Okay, it doesn't infect the sand though. Uh, that's that's a no-no. <laughs> it infects the dirt. Oh, just imagine these little splotches of green, of the moss green, between the normal if you're doing like a naturey build, like terraforming wise. That would be so cool. Give me just two seconds, sorry. Okay, I'm back. Okay, um, yeah, sorry, my hay fever is still fighting against me because of dust and stuff. Okay, um, oh, but this can be so nice to use. Oh, I also like that it's, you know, all four sides, not like the dirt that has this little lip above. I'm so excited to build with this stuff. Like, I can just imagine some of the stuff that you can do with this. Because, like, even just this, putting this there. Just there. So, like, when you're doing the torch method, like, it, it just looks better than the, the, the usual green carpet. Yeah, it, it looks better than the green carpet. So it's actually worth getting it just for being able to do the lighting thing as well. Like, because this blit just looks more natural than the carpet. If you look at it, I actually enjoy the moss more than the carpet. Oh, that's going to be so nice to have. Like, that's actually going to help a ton. Okay, I've seen the hang hanging roots. The spore blossom. What else is new? Glow. Oh, there's even new walls. Try bone milling the bushes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't checked out the bushes yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the... What is it called? The az azalea? This is the flowering. Oh, it... <gasps> no. No, 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 no. You're, you're kidding me. No, you're, you're, you're joking with me. I have flowers. It's flower bushes. They grow a bit funky, but that's fine. No, did they both do it? Oh my goodness. That's so cool. I actually am quite happy. Oh, now, now it's not just going to be, you know... Because people would like to build custom trees. And I can see people using those little pink flowers. 
Oh, that's so cool. I actually love the design, actually, of the tree. Just like the flat. Yeah. I actually do like the um the way it generates. Like it's it's like if you look at it, it sticks out the way it generates from the rest of the trees. The other trees are you know blocky, generic. This one looks a bit more natural in a way. Funky, but more natural. That's so, okay. This thing says glow, so I'm gonna go somewhere dark. In we pop. Oh yeah, it does glow. Hey, that's kind of cool. Oh, the place is everywhere. By the way, the emphasis, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, I, I saw that um, <laughs> over here. Bring on the side, yeah, I see. I don't know. I, I, I at least know that one. That one I do know because it has a specific block that it now generates that I love. Oh, this is so cool because it's like a faint glow. What, what's the light level? Light level six, seven. Okay, so it's seven on the block. Let's just get rid of those. Okay, so let's see. It, it's still it's four, five, six, seven. So this thing generates a seven light. That's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Actually, quite I like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, uh, hanging root. Okay, so just the root. Hey, this can be kind of nice. If you, have, if you like um, building like a tree house with a basement area, having these little things, that could be kind of nice. Oh, and it's a nice little flower. That's kind of cool. Little flower, little color. Can you only place them upside down? Yeah, you can only place them upside down. That's still so cool though, because they're like, you know, if you're building like a cave base and stuff, it, it, it gives you an option for the roof. It's not just the same thing ever, always. Okay, try glowberry. Glowberry's glow item frame and spyglass. Do I, do I do I eat it? Do it? What, what do I do? Do I eat it? By the way, if you burn your bug bushes under the logs, you get rooted dirt. Wait, what? By if you burn the bushes under the logs. Wait, what do you mean? Do you mean if I bone meal? <gasps> I get you get rooted dirt. Yeah. Oh. If you want to use some different kind of dirt, for like a dirt pathway, like you know, you get the um, coarse dirt, coarse dirt, normal stuff. You you can make quite a quite a pathway with these four different color palettes now but you can make an actual and you place the root in the air roots can grow on it like well like like this oh yeah for hey that's pretty cool actually but you can build like pretty cool um like dirt pathways because you now have three different types of dirt Sorry, every time that I go quiet and stuff and stand still, it's just because I have to blow my nose. Otherwise, I will suffocate myself. Okay, so glowberries. Okay, let's quick check. Do the... Do we eat it? Okay, that did not do anything. Uh, do, 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 do you... Oh. 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 Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's a very, very deep soup. Grow it on ceiling on roof. Yeah, well, what do the glowberries do? Like, are, are they just a food source? Or I thought they would make you glow. No, not not gonna. I thought like I was like F five. Oh, hi. That was a bit close. Oh yeah, they do grow on the ceiling. Hey. Oh. Oh. Like a little. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like you have. There. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. So then you can have like a mixture of um, these two in your base, like these little hanging things here and the little roots and stuff. And now like, oh, and then they have the wait. Is that what you mean by moan meal them? That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to place them there. And then they glow. Oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome. Thank Hope you so you much enjoy. for the radio maker. Thank you so much, man. 
Hope you enjoyed your stream. I'm checking out 1.17, all the juicy goodness. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody, and thank you so much, Omega. Let's go check what's what's the light source that this thing gives off actually. Let me just check. Dean. Oh my goodness, it gives off an insane light source. Okay. Okay, so if I'm doing a underground build, I know what I'm using. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Oh, let me just quick set it back today. I'm so excited. Hey hey, hope your stream was amazing, Mega. I hope you enjoyed it. I saw you were playing some COD. Hope it wasn't too sweaty. <laughs> I'm just looking at the different stuff now. That's in 1.17 and getting my head around them. Because this is just insane. Like I'm actually like gobsmacked. So if you'd like do a underground base. You have now three different things you can use. You can use these little... These little roots, you can use this um, grapevine thing. That can, this will actually generate light. Uh, and then you have a flower that I put somewhere. I can't remember where I put the flower. It's always sweaty. That is true. It is South Africa. <laughs> where did I put the flower? Here's the flower. I found the flower. And you have this flower. So if you do an underground base, you now have different things and stuff. No problem, Mega. No problem. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, this is going to be an amazing update. Like, there's just the, the sheer amount of stuff that they added. What was the other one that you wanted me to check out? There was something else that I need to check out, apparently. But they added. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow, Aksu Chicken. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. I got the walls. Is this a different wall? Oh, I actually like that texture already. Like this texture right here, the tile. Oh, that looks kind of nice. Like a brick almost. Like you have your normal stone brick. You have this, which is smaller, which I think is going to be super nice. This update's going to be insane when it comes, when, when the, um, when the wall generation changes as well. Like it's already insane with just the amount of blocks. Like, my mind is blown. I want to check. Oh yeah, there's candles. Pointed dripstone and candles. Do the candles work like... That is a candle. Oh, okay. It's the same as the... um, Whatchamacallit. It? It's the same as the sea pickles. That's kind of nice. You can light places up with um, candlelight. No need to worry about it. That is so cool. Like, just the shimmer. Okay, so how does the dripstone work? Let me, me um, grab a block. <laughs> we'll grab this block. Hey, congrats, Burner winning. <laughs> the Battle Royale. GG, man, GG. Wait, that's not... Oh, I'll break that. Ooh. I won. Yay, GG, man, GG. <laughs> I've also heard that because of the new update and stuff, if you put lava... This is what I've heard. I mean, let's just check if it's true. And this should start dripping. And if you place a cauldron underneath it, then it'll start filling up the cauldron. Very, very, very slowly. But still, that's kind of cool. Like just the, the dripping effect. But that's apparently what it does. Well, we'll leave that be and see how it is. So let's see. So we've checked out the moss. We check out the drip leaves which is going to be insane for the parkour people of minecraft that just love jumping around like madmen Ooh, deep plate tile cracked chiseled and then the brick variant as well what's this oh that's infected okay i, I, I don't want infected <laughs> do slash game random tick speed 5000 slash game rule random tick speed 300. I think I just took two screenshots from that some weird reason. Oh, that increases the tick speed of this. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Let's quickly check out the... What's this one? This one is the deep slate tiles. Oh, I love this. I don't know why. I love this block. This block actually looks amazing. Like, I wish that um, Blackstone had it. 
Does Blackstone have a tile set now? No, it doesn't have tiles. Okay. It just has the normal brick. Like, the normal brick, it fills faster. Ah, makes sense. Makes sense. I, I, I get you. Like, the, the normal brick size is nice, but having the option of this smaller brick pattern, like the, well, bricks, like, it, it's the same texture almost. No, it isn't. No, this, these are bigger than the bricks. I didn't know that. If you go to a place where it snows and place that colder, it will fill with snow. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Hey, uh, buddy. Well, thank you so much for the follow PTMS straw, man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, powdered snow. I've heard of these. It's like a block that you can walk through. The possibilities, man. The possibilities. I guess I heard that you can actually like stack it and then like poof. <gasps> oh my goodness. And I welcome, man. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it so much. So I'm, I'm just amazed. Let's so see. Okay, so you don't take damage. That's fine. Oh, oh, wait. You do take damage. That's interesting. Like, trap-wise, I mean. I, I can think of what you would do with that. I, I love the little hearts that they go dark, but yeah, th th this block is just looking amazing. Oh yeah, I actually need to check out the rest. I completely forgot. I got sidetracked by the powdered snow when you said snow. My head was like, ooh, snow! <laughs> okay, so you have cracked. You have chiseled. Chiseled? Why does it look like a chest? <laughs> try drowning a skeleton in it? I'll, I'll, I'll try now. Why does it look like a chest? And you have the normal bricks. Which is a kind of... Oh, I'm in love with this. Like, just because, you know, you normally build your... You normally go for your stone bricks when you do it. I wonder if they're going to release a mossy version of um, this tile. Because normally you just use, use these two when you build. But it's so bright. So being able to use a darker version that's not, you know, black stone dark. You know, it's not like dark dark. It's an in-between the, the it's an in-between color. Which is super nice. I feel like I feel like this is gonna be super nice. I feel like this is gonna be one of my new favorite blocks, to be honest. That and maybe the the blue copper. Like this blue greeny copper. Oh yeah, yeah, it's done. Hey. So if we take a bucket and we right click, we get a bucket of lava. And the Lava stays up here. So, Inferno Lava Sources are a real thing now. It's no longer a pipe dream of poor new Minecraft players doing this with freaking lava. Because the amount of times I've seen this is to this day still sad. It's just people that do this. And they think that this is... That's Inferno Lava Source. That, that's what people used to think. Like... The amount of times I've seen people do it, I always felt bad for them. But now, there's an actual way. It does take long, but still, there's at least a way to do it. It's not a thing anymore that doesn't happen. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You said, um... Drown a skeleton in it. I'm not sure how I'll drown him in snow. Isn't it more suffocation? Well, I, mean, I am on normal. Okay, so it doesn't do that much damage. Oh, I should probably have put... I don't know. <laughs> but I definitely feel like this, these blocks are amazing. The new lava source, incredible. Oh my goodness, those things grew fast now. The... The amount of things that are, we are going to allow to do with the moss, the... The new trees is amazing is it gonna make it a wraith it did it made it a wraith no way it made a wraith i mean a stray is that what they call them now strays yeah stray okay 
What? That's insane. Oh, I'm so excited to play on this now. Like, I'm actually just curious of maybe just turning one world into 1.17 and just play on it. I don't care <laughs> anymore. If it gets corrupted, it gets corrupted. I don't care. I want to play on it. <laughs> Can make slow arrow farms now. Oh, that is true. I don't know why you would want them, though, because they're kind of just there. <laughs> oh, you also have slabs. Ooh, wait, we have slab versions? Sorry, uh, I didn't see these. Um, oh, it's like pimples. That's kind of cool. We have the, what's this one? The polish, and we have the tile, the brick. Not gonna lie, I'm loving this. This one looks so nice. Because if you use this one with, um, oh, not, not with Nile's gravel, but with the older gravel texture, that would have actually worked quite nicely together. Now that I think about it. But this is so exciting, though. Oh my goodness. This slab is as well. I'm just going through everything, like, just to see what there is. But, yeah, that is true. Oh, you can also get the, the flowering block itself see what else there is hmm? oh by the way yes bro while i quickly scroll through all of this this is pretty much whatever you guys are seeing now so we're just gonna go over to a video you can make a shulker farm wait what how why wasn't i informed of this <laughs> I feel betrayed by the community for not informing me of this sooner. <laughs> so I'd be keen to try and... Well, I first need to learn the mechanic of it and then see if maybe I can make my own and maybe make a video on it. That could be something. We already saw the stairs. Uh, ooh, they made button. They made a polished blackstone button. That's kind of cool. If a shulker hits itself, it spawns a new one. And the old one will TP somewhere else. This sounds like a void farm, <laughs> like a void based farm. Like you move a shulk in a minecart kind of BS. <laughs> but is, if it hits itself or is it hits the other shulk? If it hits itself, oh. I'd be curious to actually see what people. Oh, so this is how the, the roll chunks now look okay so everything else is, looks the same it's just that these two things are now raw oh that's kind of cool so fortune now works oh. okay i completely forgot that my texture pack makes netherite darker <laughs> so it's just like wait why does this look different i don't know all the details uh, i'll i'll look into it i'll i'll um reference your mango he, he normally knows what's going on you know the man is busted in this game. So I normally check and he explains most of the stuff here in his buddies of Psycroft. They normally explain everything quite well. I know, I, I've heard of the glow item frame and I'm actually quite disappointed in it. It's just an item frame with a more glowy background. Yeah, I found his channel. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Actually, I was quite disappointed in the glowing item frame. Like I've heard, of, I've heard, it, it it only illuminates the item that's in it. It doesn't illuminate anything else. But these berries are kind of cool if you're doing a uh, cave build, though. And the candles as well. Is there anything which we've missed so far? This is how these guys look. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> they're very cute. There's a. Like I've heard, um, strange night. So if you put something in it, it's in the video of 30 new forms or something. Oh my god, yeah. Oh yeah, I have this thing. These things generate a ton of light. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, the lava bucket. Let me just. There we go. And close this one up. What else is glowing? Why is this glowing? What the hell? Oh, the torch. I completely forgot I put the torch there. Like, oh, it's now giving off 
a light source. Oh, I heard it doesn't give off a light source at all, but it, it seems like it is. Or am I just going insane? Like, it definitely feels like this thing is the cause of the... No, it's not the cause. What's giving off light? What the hell? That place is cursed. I'm moving away. Okay, let's, let's do it here, rather. Okay, no, it doesn't give off a light source. But it just makes the items stand out more. Which is kind of disappointing. I'm actually disappointed in that. Not gonna lie. But that uh, kind of sucks. I was expecting more from that. But what I'm actually pretty damn surprised about is these. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, like this. And, and if I'm not mistaken, that's the only use the glow squid has is them. Is for them. Like it, it's so stupid. But these things are insane. Like 14 light that they give off. That's more than torch, isn't it? How much does the torch give off? Uh, torch is. 15. Yeah, so, so they're just one below a torch. Which is kind of cool if you think about Because if you can make a cave base, that could be kind of fun. I think we should search for a cave. Uh, let me grab this. Oh, wait, where are all the caves at? <laughs> it's got to be somewhat. Some, one of them are. Oh, wait, wait. I see something over there. What is that? Oh, it's pitch black now. <laughs> that did not help me at all. It's right here. Oh, it's the vine. Okay. Never mind. That's not what I was thinking it was. So, so wait, these things spawn in the water and are water loggable. Yeah, they're water loggable. That is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can't find a... um. I somehow got sand, okay. Oh, slate. So, slate spawns now. Oh, my tiger. <laughs> Why can't I find caves? Am I just horrible at finding caves? Oh, wait, I can just do this. I completely forgot. Spectator. There we go. Oh, I was... Whoa. This is an entire lava cave. Yeah, so slate spawns in naturally now, which is kind of cool. Oh my goodness, this thing goes down. Okay, uh, let's see. For a cave. Ooh. Oh, that's a waterlogged cave. I was not expecting that. Okay, let's see. That is my tunnel I just dug. <laughs> to nowhere! Uh, oh, mine shelf. That's kind of convenient. Might, I'm not seeing an amethyst. I can see diamonds though. I, I can see diamonds like right there. Oh wow, they actually gave you like a teleport to player, teleport to member. That's kind of cool. The guys aren't there yet. That will come in. Yeah, but what I mean is so you can't get amethyst yet. Oh no, there it is. No, that's what I was looking for. Sorry, I was looking for the amethyst caves to see how often they generate. For now. I, I was just curious how often these caves generate, but I couldn't find one. <laughs> so, so there's there's a couple that generate, but there's also massive patches of just nothing. Yeah, like this. This is a big area where none of them spawn, where none of them generated. That kind of sucks. That they're so rare. I thought they would make them a bit more common because of, um, you know. But I guess if you found find one, you have the amethyst gives light. Wait, what? Oh, it does. What? That's insane. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even register. Yeah, like here, here, here. This is what I wanted to do. So if you now, you know, I, I'm talking now. When the new um, caves um, generate and stuff, if you were to take this and just place one and you, well, you know, place them and bone mill it, that's a massive light source. Light level four. <laughs> light level four. Oh, okay, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that. Like, it, it gives us such amount of light. And like you can like 
hang them like they come down pretty damn low if you feel like it and they can be like little lights instead of you having to place torches everywhere if you're doing a cave base this would be amazing yeah i saw that it, it spawns all spawns are um, low like four like i'd say 20 below almost but like this this would be insane because like what you can do is you can you know you can you can bring out the old string method like your base like the, the, these things are going to be high and stuff so then you don't need to worry about them like they're, they're pretty nice to have like i feel like they'll be an amazing light source to just have around in your base like, I'm actually so excited for that. I mean, I'll just find the damn island I was on. <laughs> ah, I can't find it. It's fine, though. No. Mm. That's so cool. Like, just the, the the amount of stuff that you can do because of it. Wait, what the hell's that? Is that Amethyst? What is that? What is this? Smooth basalt? Wait, what? Why is there basalt here? Oh, so basalt spawns over the amethyst. Sup? That's so cool. Like, I'm actually impressed by this. Like, just the amount of new stuff that's now been added to Minecraft with just this. Just this already has been made. I've also heard of yeah, here it is. Tinted glass. I don't know why you would... Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of a scenario where you would use the... The deep state is added on the lower level... On the lower layers. Yes. I was just curious. As to maybe why you would use... This glass. Tinted glass. Like, I can understand, you know, a, um, spawner. Like, you know, if you have a, um... A, um, you know, the chain spawner. I don't get what it is. So, from what I've heard, let's actually just taste it, I guess. Uh, we'll build a box. Uh, everything starts with a box. Um, in Minecraft. So, technically, if you build like a box like this, and you place a light source in it, or outside or whatever, you place a light source, this block will block out that light. See, if, it, if we change it back to nine, I'm set midnight. Oh, that one did not go through. Midnight. Okay, so... Technically, all it does now is that light's trapped in there. It, it won't escape. So if you break it, then the light comes out and replaces that. So you can still see, but it generates this. It's the same as a block. But I'm still trying to figure out why I would do it. Why, like, I, I can think of some... Like, if you're outside, you place it in, like, you, you don't get the light in. See? Oh, it's all here. See? Then it's still dark in here. So I can understand for, like, a mob farm effect. They're, you know, like, spawners and stuff, like... I can say that, but the problem is once you build a, you know, like a big mob farm, you know, like the one I have on One's World, why would you still need it? Like, th that's the only reason why I think you could use this is for a spawner. Maybe in modded it would be nice, you know, because you have those special things. Or maybe in, um, what's the game called? like where you have to have this farm closed and you want to see how um efficient it is and then you have a light behind you can look in and stuff but i can't imagine beyond that why you would need this like i'm sorry it, it's super cool like don't get me wrong it's super cool but not exactly sure why i'd need it <laughs> like not sure at all I'd love to know why. But I'm not sure why you would need it. Like, I'm, I'm looking at every other block here and like, yeah, would you just use normal glass in a situation? We don't specifically go and try and get 
that specific type. Like, it's not worth it. Oh, we haven't looked at the lightning rod much yet. So let's see. Um, slash weather. Thunder. So we'll it now. It's it's set to rain and thunder, so it should strike. It struck it. <laughs> That's so cool. So like, if you want to build, be like a mad scientist and something, this could be actually kind of nice to have. Just oh my god, it's striking it a lot. Wait, what? But wait, is the lightning rod supposed to help your your um house? But if you have like a wood house, you know you and you put this on your roof because you know it's gonna gonna protect your roof. You know, it's that's the, 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 that's the point of it. Um, I've kind of bad news for you. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. oh, it actually doesn't set the wood on fire. Wait, what? If you have a flat roof. Okay, yeah, there we go. See, if you have a wooden roof, you put this on it, it's gonna... Oh, yeah, I completely forgot the high tech speed. That is true. But maybe what I think you can actually use this for is a charge creeper farm. So, I feel like that could be a very good use. So what you would have is, um, you would have a... Because it's going to be one, it, it's only one strike and it'll like, what, super charge like four creepers maybe or something if you do it correctly, I feel like. Like maybe have something like that and you can maybe have like a, like a wither skull farm that you get from it. That makes sense because you can just like be like boop, and then you can just chill and watch your creepers get supercharged and kill your withers, and you get the skulls or something along those lines. Does it actually work sideways? It does. Impressive. Bye bye. Um, get a creeper egg. Let's see if this works for creepers. Like, it, it won't strike that often. For the farm, but you know, it's a nice alternative than having to go farm for a trident stuff. Like, you could just leave the farm AFK, AFK for a few hours. It has to rain sometime. <laughs> Let's see if this works to make him a charge creeper. If the damn lightning will strike, because <laughs> we all know channeling would work. Let's see. Come on, come on. Where the thunder and rain. Because I feel like it was... Uh, the thunder went away. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about the high tech speed. That is true. Well, the high tech speed has now officially said, Screw you. <laughs> oh wait, was that the particle to say was about to be struck? I, I, yeah, I feel like it's a particle effect. Yeah, the little particle effect. Maybe it doesn't? I don't know. Wait, won't it strike? Wait, won't it strike because of this? Oh, no, no, it does, it does. And then you have a super Superstar Creeper. That's so neat. So you can actually, like, use this. Like, yeah, it wouldn't be that effective, but if you have a, a little platform, you know, a little, a little platform arena, you know, not just one, but a, a couple of gentlemen on them. Yeah, then you supercharge them all. Oh my goodness, this can be used as a farm. Because all you need is like a creeper farm that channel channels them into this area. Then they get struck. Then you, maybe these are like trap doors or something. And then the trap doors open. Then the creepers fall through. Then you allow them to blow up. Or you let them push each other. That's also, I guess, an option. And then you have like a little... Charge your farm, I guess. Charge creeper farm, I guess, if you need one. But the glass is kind of cool, but just a missed opportunity. 
to be honest. I feel like it's a missed opportunity. Like the, I feel like if there was more to do with it, it would have been better. But there's nothing really you do with it. Hey, you can do it with the trap door. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because if the trap, because you said it gives off a um, redstone thing, redstone signal when it gets struck. So then, once it strikes, the trap doors will open and it will stay closed until then. Yeah, when it strikes, exactly. So then you can just leave it and you'll get charged creepers to farm skulls. So you can get weather skulls, um, weather skeleton skulls, I mean, zombie skulls, um, spider skulls. You know, you can get whatever you want because of that, which is kind of cool, you know, it would be a neat thing to be actually do. But I think that's all of it for 1.17, if I'm being honest. Like, there's nothing, like, when 1.17.1, I guess, or .2 or whatever comes out, and it's the, one well, of the end of the year where they change the things, and we'll fly around, you know, generate around the world and just fly around. I'm killing them. <laughs> By just lightning striking them now to death. It's kind of cool, the um, candles, though. The candles are quite nice. Yeah, but I feel like that's all of it. There we go. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.